drone is a hugely fun piece of technology that we're using to show our viewers a new perspective of the wilderness that we explore together. I'm Connor Teagues and I'm the drone pilot for Safari Live. My role as drone pilot is to give a different perspective of the landscape and animals. Now we're going to go back to the lions, but we're going to go there from the air. There is Brent, and there are the lions, little cubs strewn about the place, a carpet of lions. It just gives you a perspective there on how close the killer bees are to those lions. I mean, that, <laughs> that cannot be more than 10 feet from them. We started off experimenting with phantom operations, uh, which worked well, but we were limited by the flight time and the wide-angle lens camera. The trees has a much lower frequency hum, and with the Z3 camera, we're able to stay much higher than we could with the phantoms and provide the same camera shots. My favorite drone moments thus far has been filming a Wahlberg's eagle up in a tree. It really gives a different perspective of the landscape, the background, and you can get really up close and personal with these animals. Animals react to the drone in much the same way that they react to anything that they're not used to. They assess it as a potential threat. Now, much the same with the vehicles, we need to be careful not to get too close before they're used to the whirring propellers. Then with the new drone and its zoom lens, we can view animals from above without them knowing that they're being observed. Perhaps a herd of impala or elephants will give us new insights to their behavior and dynamics. With the drone, the vehicles can hang back and not disturb the hunt while we can come in with the drone and film the action from the air. There is Brent Leo Smith, and the dogs are just in front of him. There you can see them now moving off to the right-hand side of the picture. I imagine over time the animals will habituate to the drone in much the same way as they have to the vehicles and to our presence on foot. It's crucially important to us at Wild Earth, however, that we don't affect the animals' behavior negatively at all with any of the technology that we use. If you enjoy that little taste of Africa, click subscribe here on top of this baboon skull and you can see more of the highlights from our daily African safaris. Then on the right here, if you click the little bell, you'll be notified every time we go live at dawn and dusk.